What's going on YouTube, man? It's, uh, I think it's Wednesday night, Wednesday night. Just got some news to bring you guys. You know, I've been hearing a lot of negativity. People still talking about the recession and all this other garbage, right? But you know what? I want you in your mind right now, for those of you who are still talking about the recession, just go ahead and say in your mind right now, the recession is over. Because you know what? The recession is you. I'll tell you what. I've made more money this year than I've made in any of my previous years. And we're in a so-called recession. Because the way I looked at the recession is, instead of sitting down and saying that less money, less money, less money, you have to do more. It's a common sense thing. Now let me tell you something. There are some people on YouTube right now that are sitting here giving negative news. And what I mean by negative news, I don't watch news on television because news is negative. I don't want to know what the unemployment rate is. I want to know what jobs have been, been cut or whatever. That's a part of life. Okay? Nobody owes you anything. If you got a job, guess what? It's probably not going to last forever. Because here's some people say, I've been working at this job for 30 years. And how dare they, you know, want to cut me or whatever. You know what? They gave you a paycheck for 30 years also. A job doesn't owe you anything. Understand that. Money that you get is money that you should save and invest so you don't have to depend on a job. And let me tell you a story. The other day, I met a guy, a young gentleman. The, the gentleman was from Somalia. Okay? Now, I was out buying a car because my transmission had went out. And I met the guy, and I told him, hey, I was in Somalia one time. I was in Somalia in 93, doing a Black Hawk Down type situation. I was there. So the guy immediately started telling me about his life. First thing he told me was, my father was the first millionaire in Somalia. He said, we had, we had 500 people in our tribe, and we had a glue business. We had like this plant or something that they used to import um, or export to other countries like Italy, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, all over the world, right? And uh, the tribesmen came in of a deed or whatever, and they came in to destroy everything this tribe had because this was one of the richest tribes in Somalia, okay? They came in, they killed his wife, they killed his kids in front of him, and then they came to kill him. But he was stabbed in the chest. He was able to fight off the guy with the knife, and he killed the guy. Okay? Now, he didn't get to save his family, but here's a guy that lost everything. So you think his mind will be screwed up. You know, just like the guy that lost a job, but not as intense. The guy that lost a job situation is nothing like this. So... Here is the guy, lost everything. So the guy came to the US, and I was like, okay, now let's see how is he gonna make something out of nothing. The guy came to the US, he worked as a car mechanic for about 20 years. Now, the guy uh, goes to auction and he buys cars. He has his own um, car mechanic shop, auto repair shop. Uh, he rents out one side for a thousand dollars a month. He has his own dealership. Uh, he has a restaurant and he has a grocery store. And just when I saw the guy, I'm, I'm just that day alone in front of me, I seen the guy make over ten thousand dollars for the day. Now, what I'm trying to say is, is that here's a guy that was faced with the unbelievable. You know, this is something that is tragic. But instead of giving up. And becoming uh, with the low self-esteem and, and just giving up on life. No, 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 no. This guy kept moving. Now he's a successful entrepreneur. His hands is in everything. Now just think about you who we're going through a, a small, simple thing like the recession. Okay, you lose your job. But you haven't lost you. You are the job. And what I mean by that is you are the creating money machine. But you have to believe it. I'm getting sick and tired of these guys on YouTube spreading all this, spending all this time and garbage worrying about the stock market and all these other things. But guess what, guys? When you spend time focusing on those things, you don't spend time building skills and, and becoming a better you so you can make more money. You see, I can say that with 100% confidence because I know what I made. You won't hear me screaming and crying over the economy and what's going on. I met a lady today 
one of my friends, I didn't even know what she did. She said, how is business today? I said, it was good. You know, it's okay. She said, well, business for me is a little slow, but my other business is good. Now, this is a Chinese lady from the U.S. And I said, where's your business? She said, Jordan. I'm thinking she's talking about like Jordan, Missouri or something. She has a business in Jordan, the country Jordan. And she's making about $12,000 a month there. She went there and got an opportunity. She didn't just say, oh, I just have a mom and pop shop or, oh, I just lost my job. What am I going to do? She went clear across the world to make things happen. But that's what I'm saying. Opportunity may not be right in front of you. It may not be in a city you live in. It may not be in a country you live in. But it's somewhere. You can succeed. You can do things. Stop being a fragile being. Stop being a being that's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't do this. I don't have enough skills. I don't know. Stop the whining. Okay? Guys, we've talked about the economy enough. We've talked about unemployment enough. You know what? If you lose your job, which that very well could happen, you know what? Build the skills now so you can do something on the side. So when the job is going, you can make it. That's all I'm saying, guys. We got too many people out here with this negative news and say, well, the news is true. Well, guess what? It may be true. But there's a positive and there's a negative. And which road do you want to be on? If I know there's negative things going here, although it may be true, I'm, I'm looking at the positive outlook out of it and I'm making a good thing out of a bad thing. So I'm not going to preach much. I just want to get the clear message that, look, stop the negative. The recession is over. The recession was here. The recession is over in your life. Stop it. Move on and bring better things in your life for the end of this year. Finish strong and definitely for 2010. So until next time, signing off.